Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Kingdom of Loathing with me, Alfred. Um, I did some grinding, as you may be able to see. Um, I only have 61 adventurers left, so we're going to finally figure out what that thing does. However, uh, instead of starting it, you know, where I was at it, here we go. All right. Check out the popular machine. We have all the ingredients on the list. You drop the ingredients into the popular machine, push the red button, and let it do its work. A few minutes later, a popular tot springs out of the slot in the top. Popular tart. Everyone's talking about this tart. It's an epic food. Whoa. Epic food, huh? This early. That's wild. I want to find uh, that again. Beagle machine. I'll leave a lot of dough. And then let's embrace the madness. You breathe as deeply as you can. Oh, dang. This is the one I already got. Whatever. Um, that's enough of that. So let's check out my inventory just to make sure we're all on the same page here. I've got five magical baguettes. Before someone figured out how to slice it, this was the best thing. I've got 66 bagels. It's filling, but bland. I gained five adventures, so I can just go absolutely crazy on these, you know? Why not? You know? What's, who's to stop me? The Repopsicle. Two adventures. Whatever. Oriole net, Oriole food. Popular tart. Man. So what is epic food? I'm just going to eat it. You know, whatever. You're too full to eat that. Oh, right. <laughs> Well, whatever. All right. Um, if I use my wad of dough, oh, I smash it into flat dough. Cool. And I imagine I can just use it again. What happens if I lose, use my loose teeth? You grind the teeth for a while, but then you stop because your mom always told you that it's not good to grind your teeth. Yeah, it's, it's fair. Yeah, I'm too full. All right. Well, I will be able to eat more food tomorrow. Most people, uh, your your food limits are determined by your character i forget what exactly um i want to look at my stats no oh wait right i just clicked this duh all right my must filling up my mysticality keeps popping off moxie keeps going somewhat drunk got all these got all these yeah i love bagels Um, all right, cool. So we're going to, let's see, what have we not done here? The Gourd Tower. It's noisy. You climb to the top of the Gourd Tower and encounter a twitchy man standing next to a huge gourd. I'm, I'm uh, the captain, says the man. The captain of eep, the gourd. It is my sworn, my sworn duty to protect the gourd, that is. It's clear that in addition to being next to it, the man is clearly out of his gourd. You can hurt, help, help, he continues. Goblins, goblins threaten the gourd. Slay them. Seek them out in glurp, out in the, gr in the eep, outskirts of glurp, gobsnob. Bring back five of their erp, firecrackers and they'll be, you'll be, gurp, rewarded. Uh, sure, great, erp, I'll be glurp here. Keeping the eep, the eep, the gourd safe. Um, all right, so that's Captain of the Gourd. Um, we'll do this. Can I go to a construction site? Cake shaped arena. Um, oh, yeah, this is uh, this is essentially Pokemon battling the League of Chef Magi. Only Postomancers and Sorcerers can enter here. And I believe if I go to the wrong side of the tracks and go here, only Disco Bandits and Accordion Thieves get in here. So my place is actually on the wrong right side of the tracks, and it's here. Gunther, Lord of the Smackdown. So you want to join the Brotherhood of the Smackdown, eh? Gunther says. Well, first you'll have to prove your manliness. Okay, you reply. What do I have to do? Our usual test of manhood is a sausage measuring competition. A what? 
the knob goblins of the nearby plains of the kingdom's premier sausage makers. They guard their sausages jealously, particularly the big ones. Go there and find the biggest sausage you can. Defeat or intimidate the guards and bring the sausage here for measurement. So yeah. Spooky Raven Manor. This is a whole thing. Um, I'll come here later, I think, actually. Monorail station. Hmm? I will come here later. Okay. So we'll come back to these places later. We can't go here. We need a familiar to go here. This place is pretty much done. And then here. He wants his paint palette. Yeah, okay, I thought so. So a lot of these are actually in Cobb's Knob, which is why I came here. Uh, I, of course, forgot to read his thing. Hi, everyone, it's Alfred. Welcome Whoops. Back to 300 second crap. This uh, hey, don't mind that. I'm editing my own content while I play video games. Um, and you know what? I'll actually be right back because uh, I have to go upload that right now. <laughs> don't mind me. All right, sorry about that. Just a little quarantine snafu. I'm doing everything at once right now. In another tab, I'm trying to learn how to play Dwarf Fortress. And I kid you not, in an entirely different tab, I'm also trying to learn how to play NetHack, I think. Um, it's 5 in the morning. I'm tired. I've been awake for not a long amount of time. Uh, and I still am confusing myself on whether or not I mean hack mud. Hack mud, dot hack, and net hack. All right, we're going to check out here as well. The barrel full of barrels. Pick a barrel and smash it. We got fine wine. Got moxie weed. Got a cherry. Strongest elixir. A mimic. You're fighting a tiny barrel mimic. You enter the barrel and attempt to smash a barrel. But what you thought was a barrel turns out to actually be a mimic mimicking a barrel. You're confused. You thought these things had only mimic chests, but you get the jump on it. You strike a glancing blow with the seal clubbing club and deal a paltry one damage. Uh-oh. This opponent might be a little out of your league. It does a good impression of, the, of a monster laying the smackdown, and you lose seven hit points. Cripes! I haul off and clobber my foe for two plus two damage. It does a pretty decent impression of a monster kicking the stuffing out of you. Ouch, ook, arg. I lose seven hit points. Oh, boy. Oh, whoa. You clobber your opponent as though you were trying to make a cobbler out of its brains, dealing two plus two damage. It does an awful impression of a monster hitting you in the throat. It missed! You cobble together a strategy. It involves clobbering your opponent for two plus two damage. It does a pretty indecent impression of a monster kicking the stuffing out of you. Out, ouch, arg. Seven hit points. Damn. It kicked my ass. So now I'm beaten up. You've had the crap beaten out of you. You're going to need some more crap. I lose 50% of all my stuff. It's Pepsi Cola. Grapefruit schnapps. Ah, dang. Killed me. All right. Well, that's enough of that. Um, I'm going to go and... Do, 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 do. Rest in my tent. Rest. Rest. Cool. Um, that's all done. Dang. I need more skills. I suppose I would do that through, you know, regular stuff. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, these are... Um, th this is a job board. You know, it's a very monster honey hunter job board. Um... Actually, I could just... Yeah, you lose three adventures. You gain a muscle point and a bunch of beefiness. Mysteriousness, smarm. All right, cool. cool. So, yeah, this just... I thought that... I, I totally, like, blanked on this. I thought it was just, like, here's a quest board. But no, this, this just gives you... Like, it just burns adventures for meat in a pretty standard way. Like, it's 100 meat for an adventure. That's honestly not bad. Um, yeah, why not? And you also get a bunch of stat bonuses. 
Forge Bellower. Ooh, is that? Whoa, that's a lot. You stand next to the Meatsmith's Forge, working the bellows for a while. It's hot and tiring work, but it beats customer service. Damn right. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll make a note of that. Um, can I drink? Cool. Moxie weed. So yeah, these things weigh on your spleen, which is a different um, stat thing. So let's drink a screwdriver. Muscle point and a level. Nice. Can I get some more? Yeah, I can. Better keep an eye on your drinking. Okay, I'll I'll call I'll cool it here. Um, got some adventures back. Cool. All right. So this would just be. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does. So this is miscellany. This is strength. This is, I guess, mysticality, and then moxie. Okay. Cool. Okay, yeah. So these are all strength-related jobs, like weight re-racker. That's kind of funny, actually. Um, yeah, why not? When I got some cheek, too. Cool. Loathing Postal Service. Dear Dusky Alfred, we found this telegram at the bottom of an old bin of mail, addressed to you, but dated 15 years before you were born. Freaked us out, so we're getting rid of it by delivering it to you. Got a telegram from Lady Spooky Raven. Okay. Let's go take a look. Oh, whoa. I got more stuff than I actually thought I did. But let's use this. The Scalford Seaside Town, unfinished business, cannot leave mortal realm. Necklace and library desk. Gift from husband. Key lost. Billiard room? That key also lost. Haha, so forgetful. Drawer and kitchen, perhaps. You may enter. Cordially, Lady Spooky Raven. So, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Um, let's go get myself out because i got some new stuff um rip and peace seal seal helmet because i got that now and the skeleton bone a bone from a skeleton as opposed to all the other kinds of bones uh and it's a club which is what i like it does spooky damage Ooh, and it's better than my seal clubbing club because instead of being one to two it's 36 so it's you know, a good triple the power of... I've now tripled my power. I might be able to go kill those barrels. That might be fun. Damn. If I wasn't full, I could get a lot more done. Hmm. Bear's thought. Anyway, and eh, you know what the hell. Turn the crank and burn an adventure. Wow, it's all animated and stuff. Look at that. Cloaca Cola. A lemon. And a strongness elixir. Nice. I'm going to go drink that right now. No reason not to. Yeah, beefishness. Wow. So yeah, you get 40 turns a day. 40 adventurers to a day, I should say. Um, so I honestly should, uh, like, it's just kind of an incentive to play every day. There we go. I can get a couple of these now. Man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Um, I just upgraded my weapon, and I actually really haven't used it. So I think that I will instead go to the go to Cobb's Knob. Oh, there's all these places I haven't gone. There's so much to discover in this game. Y'all should really play this game. This is a good game. Oh, man. Like, I'm unpopular and shit. Okay, so this looks like it's just... Yeah, this is an online thing. Yeah, I would have thought so. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sure. Wow. 
Whoa. All right. Crimbo. <laughs> Ode to the Mafia. Nice. That's a good one. Polar Bear. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. I wonder what this is. I guess it's like just make art with this, you know? That's modern art, whatever. Nah, it doesn't even have a funny name. Safety and Anxiety. See, now that's got a funny name. I'm all right with that. Okay. Um, I should look for Cobb's Knob. Cobb's. Or I could check these out, actually. Dungeoneers Association. So we've got a vending machine. You buy these with special fat loot tokens. This is a cheap, crudely stamped coin with a Dungeoneers Association logo on the side and the inscription Ex Terra Bonus on the other. It looks like it'll fit on the coin side of the vending machine. So these are only sold through here. Uh, this is unique loot. These characters are special characters. Boris, Jarlsberg, and Sticky Pete are almost mythological figures representing strength, magic, and thievery. Boris, you know, being a huge dude. Dry gelatinous cube. That's fun. And it hatches into a gelatinous cubeling. Oh, man, I want one of those. And then these give you unique spells. Okay. So I don't have any of those. Those, I imagine, you get in here. Daily dungeon. You're fighting a pencil golem. In chamber one of the daily dungeon, you encounter a monster. This room is guarded by a golem made of pencils. It's pointy. The golem, that is, not the room. Attack with your skeleton bone. The first rule of hitting with a club is you don't talk about hitting with a club. Second rule of hitting with a club is that you do 15 plus 2 plus 1 damage. You jab yourself on one of its sharp bits. Ow. Four hit points, but I win the fight, and I got a pencil stub. Nice. Chamber two of the daily dungeon is empty, but the room needing to the next one is closed. You hate closed doors. Most of your time in your experience, they're not also they're not only closed, but also locked. The nerve of those doors. What you gonna do about it? Um, I'm gonna try the doorknob. You walk up right. You walk right up to the door, and turn the handle. Surprisingly, door's not locked. Unsurprisingly, opening it triggers a trap. Did you learn nothing in adventuring school? A noxious green gas pours out of a vent above the door, making you choke and gag. Hardly poison at all. You've been poisoned, but just a little. Mild annoyance courses through your veins. So I've lost three to all my stats, and then another minus 10% of my stats. How did I get here? How the hell did I get here? Um, I want to do, I want to show off everything. So this is uh, an online arena, essentially, as far as I remember, at least. Temple of Literacy. Oh, this is how you. <laughs> That's funny. It's the altar of literacy. It's how you. I'm the ghost of the English language. Oh, so that's how you enter the chat. <laughs> that's funny. Just to prove that you can read. All right. Then the hermitage. The hermit looks at you expectantly. We don't. When you don't respond, he points to a crudely chalk sign on the wall reading hermit permit required pursuant to seaside town ordinance 3769 stupid bureaucrats ruining everyone's fun with their permits and forms you glance at him and see a bunch of items arranged on a filthy carpet seal tooth chisel petrified noodles uh, habanero pepper banjo strings buttered roll a wooden figurine ketchup catsup volleyball a figurine of an ancient seal and a 10 leaf clover It's a seal clubber only item, as is the seal tooth, I think. Yes, it is. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't know how I do this. I guess I'll, you know, Google it while I'm away. But yeah, um, Dungeoneers Association. <laughs> Chamber three of the daily dungeon appears to be empty, but you know better. They don't put empty rooms in dungeons, so any room that appears empty must contain something you haven't seen yet. You haven't seen anything yet, so it must be assumed to be a trap. What's it going to be? I'll walk backwards cautiously. I'll go forwards cautiously. 
Step on a hidden pressure plate. The entire floor slides back to reveal an enormous electric stove burner. You dart to the opposite door. But not before burning your feet pretty badly. You go to the next chamber. Uh, I'll do a quick sleepo first. I'll do two. Yeah, that's probably good. Door four. Ah, oh, well. I don't want to do this again. Um, I'll come back when I have more muscle. Meanwhile, these are other things. This is the Haiku Dungeon. This 10 by 10 room is exactly the right side. Gelatinous cube. A huge gleaming cube, the length and height of the hall, squishes towards you. You jump at your full and strike before it's ready. Nice and sportsmanlike. A tricky riddle. Who did 23 damage? The answer is you, stud. Know what time it is? Time for a victory dance. A winner is you. 27 meat. It does not grow on trees, you know. It lies on the ground. Rusty metal ring was once your foes, is now yours. Beaters up keepers. Next to you on the ground is a rusty metal shaft. You hork it and jet. You're feeling stronger, having gained two beefiness. Mighty, mighty you. Venture again. This room is the home of an ancient insane monk, and you're trespassing. Venerable monk, as old as he is insane, and like twice as mean. The monster attacks before you're ever ready. Dang, man, what a jerk. Heron's by a pond. Heron's by a lake. Lily's in a limpid pool. His attack just failed. Nice. Must be my new hat. Question this answer. Just did 25 damage. You? Suck it, Trebek. Oh. Eh, I think he's doing better, right? With your final blow, you deliver the smackdown. Sweet, sweet victory. Biceps, triceps, abs. Combat's quite a workout, huh? You gain one muscle. Like a winter breeze keeping your cool in battle, you gain one chutzpah. Oh, whoa. When couplets go bad, there's always someone to blame. Knob goblin poser. This, hop, this knob goblin teen thinks he's a gangsta poet. In fact, he's neither. You're the bus driver, so you take your foe to school. 25 damage. You're victorious, so your name must be Victor. To you grow the spoils. The harvest moon glows, and you can see 17 meat, ripe for the picking. You work up a sweat, gain two muscles from the fight. Sweet, now go shower. From near the shadows slinks this amateur ninja, a half-assassin, a slacker in black. He dropped out of ninja school. He's deadly, sort of. But before you're ready, the foe starts beating on you, so much for sneaking. Tranquil summer nights, much like his attack attempts, don't hurt at all. 26 damage as the stars wheel overhead monster vertigo that was quite a hit true palpable critical constructively so you did your best friend losers whine about their best but you're no loser if meat grows on trees then it must be autumn now you gain 20 meat delicious magic your hungry brain start scarfs it down yum it tastes like one blur of teeth and claws who just caught the scent of blood? Ferocious bugbear. A fiendish bugbear lurches at you, brandishing big teeth and small arms. On the nearby ground, you can see 22 meat. Score. You pick it up. A bugbear beanie is now yours for the taking. As such, you take it. Gentle reeds must bend, but you're mightier than that. You gain one muscle. Stars wheel above you. Ancient wisdom fills your brain. You gain one magic. Small ring of mushrooms surrounded by greasy stains on the gu on the dungeon floor. Gaffle some mushrooms. Take some gravy instead, or leave the ring alone. I'll gaffle them. You take some mushrooms, but not in the hippie sense. In the burglar sense. Can't get what you want unless it's a null mushroom. Serendipity. Loot falls like a spring rain. Keen eyes spy a knob mushroom. Yoink. Now it's yours. See, this dungeon is all written in haiku, obviously. 
And then the Limerick one. You encounter an unpleasant satyr who's a renowned player hater, but you convince him he's wrong through argument wrong and prove that you're a master debater. Gain a bunch of sarcasm and a moxie. Nice. You encounter a chest full of meat, unguarded, which is pretty neat. So you hastily croak a bad meaty chest joke, hork the meat, and discreetly beat feet. <laughs> you encounter a fierce-looking giant, who blocks your way huge and defiant. Though he roars puny fool, you take his ass to school and leave him a good deal more pliant. So yeah, as is this, this one also is just all in Limerick. So, I thought that you got the coins for this through the other dungeons but I guess I was wrong um let's take a look at Mount Noob no oh, yeah duh that's embarrassing whoa 35 damage nice um that's all right so I've got 30 adventures left um, I said that I was going to do these and then I guess I lied because I got stuck in the dungeons, but whatever, that's okay. Uh, but now I've got some stuff going for me. I can, God dang it. Every time I can go to market square, I can go to spooky Raven Manor and run around in here. Um, I do kind of want to go to Cobb's knob though. Cobb's Knob, one adventure. Just aside Cobb's Knob, you encounter an adolescent knob goblin waving a paintbrush around. Look at me, he shouts. I'm an artist. I don't have a real job. I only listen to bands you've never heard of. Knowing better, you lay the smack down and take the brush, determined to take it to its rightful owner. You're finding a sleeping knob goblin guard. This is a knob goblin guard who's fallen asleep with the switch. Switch, in this case, is the entrance to Cobb's Knob. Normally, these guys are pretty tough, but they're notoriously hard to wake up, so you can probably take this one. You get the jump on him. First rule of oh, right, this one. That's a lot of damage. And I got a Knob Goblin Scimitar. I'm going to go take a look at these because I've got some stuff. Hell yeah. I've got sake. Whoa. Good. Because I don't like wearing the skin. Bugbear beanie. This is a beanie made from the skin of a bugbear. Sadly, it lacks a propeller. I don't like that it looks like human skin. Um, Nobgoblin scimitar. This is a curved sword used by Nobgoblin. And trust me, you don't want to know what they use it for. Um, it's unfortunately not better than what I have. But that's okay. Nice. Okay, so how do I get there? Cobb's Knob. Instead of Cobb's Knob, you trip over a rock and knock yourself briefly unconscious on a larger and sharper rock. When you come to, you find yourself in a chain gang being forced to haul sewage in and out of the knob. You're not sure why they're taking sewage into the knob, but yours is not exactly reason. But yours is not exactly to reason why, given the circumstances. One way or another, servitude must come to an end. But how? I will rise and revolt. Nice. So I had to convince your fellow prisoners to rise up with you in rebelling against your knob goblin captors. Unfortunately, they're all pretty comfortable with the status quo, and your speech falls on deaf ears. Unfazed, you decide to conduct the revolution single-handedly. Grunting and straining, you drag the entire chain gang away from the knob to freedom. It's quite a workout. Nice. You're fighting a knob goblin assistant chef. This knob goblin is currently in training to be a chef. He proudly wields his set of neophytes tongs and whistles a happy cooking song as he prepares to beat you senseless. Give him a knuckle sandwich and since he looks hungry, follow up with a club sandwich for 29 plus 2 plus 1 damage. We got a chef's hat. Oh, I want to look at those already. Oh, it's just as good. Well, maybe. Because this is just a hat but this one well, this one gives me more mysticality and i regenerate mp on my adventures um i'm not using my mp like at all 
And I guess the mysticality is probably all right, but I don't know. It's not really too, too important. Um, can I sell things? I'm going to sell some stuff. I'm going to sell. Yeah, I'm going to sell those. Sell all but one. You sell your creepy masks to a cycling minstrel for 125 meat. Cycling minstrel. Damn it. Oh, that's dumb. Anyway. Um, nearby planes. How come these don't show up on my map? Am I just missing them in here? No, I don't think I am. No? All right, weird. Um, anyway, yeah, tomorrow my adventures will all reset. I will get more, and I will be able to make more adventures. Cobbs Dob. You're fighting a knob goblin barbecue team. This is a deadly combination of neophyte barbecue chef and a magically animated barbecue grill. Sometimes these things are friendly, but this one appears to be pretty aggressive. It gets the jump on you. The chef tries to give you a tong lashing, but you quickly dodge, skeleton bone him. I win, and I got cottage cheese. Hell yeah. You see a group of knob goblin guards standing around. They appear to be guarding something, which is how you know you're, they're guards and not ordinary knob goblins. They brandish their spears and try to look menacing as you approach. Back off, human, one says. We got a really big sausage here. We're not going to let you get your hands on it. I bet it isn't that big, you say. You probably just measured it in centimeters or something, so it seems bigger. Ha! Huh. Shows what you know. Take a look. The goblins move aside a little so you can see the grill they're guarding. The sausage atop it is, in fact, pretty huge. Your jaw hurts just looking at it. This would be the perfect sausage to prove your manliness to Gunther. Grab the sausage, so to speak. I mean, literally. How long have you been, guys? How long have you guys been guarding the sausage? You ask. No, oh, about four hours now. That long? Maybe you ought to see a doctor. Huh? There's nothing wrong with any of us. You crack your knuckles in a menacing fashion. Not yet, there isn't. The guards shrink visibly under your icy glare and don't stop the movie as you grab the sausage and stride away. Hey, what the heck is wrong with you fools? You were supposed to be guarding that sausage. Sorry, boss, says the guard. I guess we blew it. We got an 11-inch knob sausage. If I give you an inch, you want one of these. It's a quest item. Nice. And then I guess I'm just looking for... So I've got the knob sausage. I need firecrackers. Okay, cool. As you're wandering through the outskirts of Cobb Knob, you hear a faint whisper behind a tree. You see an, a wounded knob goblin guard breathing heavily. Adventurer, gasped the guard. You have to help me. I stubbed my toe really, really hard, and I, I don't think I'm going to make it unless someone brings you some medicine. Will you help me? Sure. Uh, what kind of medicine do you need? Go to, go to Seaside Town and go to Doc Galactic's show. His penguin ungent should fix me right up. It costs 30 meat. Here, have this. All right. Uh, I guess we'll go to Seaside Town. Um, Pudge and Ungwent. Oh, <laughs> he gave me a deal, so it's less money for me. <laughs> nice. Uh, and while we're here, let's just drop off that. Oh, God dang it. While we're here. Let's drop off that big old sausage. You pull out your giant sausage and gives it to Gunther. He looks suitably impressed. 11 inches, he exclaimed. It's the biggest one I've seen since that Holmes fella joined back in 72. Oh, I had a different voice room. He shakes your hand and reaches around to give you a firm pat on the back. Well done, initiate. Welcome to the Brotherhood of the Smackdown. You should talk to Torg if you want to train some skills. And see the guy at the smackatory about getting provisions. And if you want to use the guild meat car, talk to Olaf, the janitor. All right, cool. So we got Grigner, the seal clubber, and Terry, the turtle tamer. So, you know, these are your class people. She's like, eh, whatever. And he's like, hey, whatever. Torg, the trainer. Yes! Okay, this is what I wanted. We've got lunch smack. Fortitude of the Muskox, Audacity of the Otter, Hibernate, Blubber Up, Cold Shoulder, Thrust Smack, Wrath of the Wolverine, Super Advanced Meatsmithing, Buoyancy the Beluga, Scowl of the Auk, 
thirst of the weasel. Hide of the walrus, furious wallop. Claws of the walrus, club foot. Tongue of the walrus, seething of the snow leopard. Lunging thrust smack, so it combines thrust smack and lunge smack. Ire of the orca, batter up. Rage of the reindeer, double-fisted skull smashing. Cavalcade of fury, northern explosion and northern exposure. Musk of the moose, precision of the penguin, pulverize and pride of the puffin. Um, I'm going to get all of these eventually. It, it'll take me some grinding. It'll take me some doing, but I've, I'm going to get all of these. Um, I want audacity of the otter. You gain a new skill, audacity of the otter. And you know what? Blubber up. That's for my wife. To gain the blubber, the blubber of marine uh, mammals. Oh, cool. I forgot I had that. My skills, blubber up, non-combat, 7 MP. Covering your rippling muscles with grubber will make you more difficult to grab onto. Not that anyone will want to with all that, gra with all that blubber. This is what I wanted. Audacity of the otter. Whoa, you have become infused with the fighting spirit of the otter, making your critical hits more critical than usual. Triple damage critical hits. Hell yeah. That's badass. You grab some blubber from somewhere and rub it all over your rippling muscles. You're glistening like a with blubber like a bodybuilder or a butcher on a whaling ship. And like both of those things, you're difficult to connect with. And you know what? Let's just do this. Now we got Seal Club and Frenzy. Wow. I'm getting up there. Hell yeah. I like that. Um, I'm going to head back to Seaside Town. I'm going to go to the right side of the tracks and Brotherhood. Um, Smacketeria. This is, yeah, this is what I thought it was. Blood of the Ware Seal. This is a potion made from the blood of a Ware Seal. It positively bubbles with lycanthropy. It gives you 58% muscles for 10 adventures. Whoa. Medicinal herbs, medicinal herbs. This is a shaker of medicinal herb brands, medicinal herb. Herbs are guaranteed by medicinal herb to be 100% legal for medical purposes, and they work just as well as poultry do in a poultice. Side effects include dizziness, sweaty palms, and spleen damage. It's a spleen item, good tier. Stores all your HP. Yeah, I'll get one of those. I'll get a couple, actually. I've got the meat for it. Cheap wind-up clock. This is a potion. <laughs> this is an extremely cheap wind-up clock. You know the time that ticks louder than Big Ben, but narrowly, but invariably break after a single wind-up? For all you Brits, I'm not winding you up when I say that this is a nifty clock. And it gives you a bunch of bonus stuff. Enchanted brass knuckles. This is a chair. This is a pair of brass knuckles imbued with powerful sorcery. You could split a lot more lips if you were wearing these. That's all right. Figurine of a cute-looking seal. Wretched-looking seal. It's a malformed little droopy little seal figurine. A seal blubber candle. It's a tallow candle made from the blubber of an infernal seal. Remember, if you don't from episode one, remember that all seals are, are demons. Armored seal. Little clay figurine is a seal with a round shield in one flipper and a short sword in the other. And look of fierce discipline in the eye and unbridled hatred in the other and corrupt evil in one heart and i guess it only has one heart um i'll get one all right so what does that do i suppose i could have read it but i decided not to you must be level nine to consume that okay i'm, I'm cool with that uh, in that case, I'll just stock up. Oh, I can get more, can I? Yeah, wretched looking seal and seal bumper candle. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I can use this one. You need five seal bumper candles. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll go get more candles then. Uh, I know I'm kind of burning through my meat, but considering that like I can just trade adventurers for meat, I'm not too bad about that. Actually, let's get three more. All right. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, this is a game where, like, meat has a lot, a lot of uses. And, like, I know it's money, but, like, so many games, like, you eventually just, you have so much money and it doesn't matter. All right. You place the figurine at your feet and position five sealed bubber candles on the ground around it. Cold and shadow gather around you, and time seems to slow to a crawl. 
Echoes of your northern ancestry rise up from the depths of your consciousness, whispering world words in the forgotten tongue of your forefathers. You feel your clubbing muscles begin to twitch in anticipation. Begin the ritual. You're fighting a broodling seal. You light the candles and speak the ancient words. Then you hear nursery bells ringing faintly in the distance as a pink and powder blue haze wells up in a circle around you. You hear a wet pop as a broodling seal is plucked from the abyss and plopped into the ground before you. Now this thing may look cute, but don't let it fool you. It's pure evil. All seals are. From the moment the brood nanny ushers them through the yawning sphincter of the abyss until the end of their days, it just kill, maim, and destroy. It blinks at you, then it blinks at you again, and then it giggles. You ready your weapon, and you spring into action, because you know what that giggle means. If you're wondering what that looks like, there's some videos on the internet that'll help you visualize the process. I'm going to clobber it. Whoa! I lost 72 hit points. <laughs> Holy moly. I guess that used all my candles, too. Hmm. <laughs> well, huh, that's funny. All right. I have, um, and that was with all my buffs. Jeez. All right. I guess I'll come back for those. That was pretty embarrassing, though. Um, right. Back to Cobb's Knob. Go back to the tree where the knob goblin guard was resting. Find him where you, where you left him. Continue to whine about his stuffed toe. Here you go, tough guy. And you hand him the young one. Your lifesaver. Take this as a thank you. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Ring of half-assed regeneration. You're fighting a knob goblin guard. Nice. Knob goblin assistant chef. Oh, I, lo I love these guys for some reason. You're fighting a sub-assistant knob goblin mad scientist. You know how sometimes a mad scientist will have an assistant? Well, sometimes those assistants have assistants. And that's what this knob goblin is. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so watch out. He tries to hit you with his fork, but he gets distracted by how educated stupid you are. Hey, I got him. And I got a firecracker, finally. I got a knob goblin encryption key. Near the knob, you encounter one of those sleeping guards you keep seeing everywhere. You can attack him, but then you realize you got a cool-looking insignia sewn on his pants. And he must be some kind of high-ranking officer. Marveling at the discipline of the, knob, of the knob army, you decide to rifle through his pocket to see if he's carrying anything important. Sure enough, you find what appears to be an important co co code document folded up in his back pocket. Um, let's take a look here. Do, 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 do. Ring a half asset regeneration. <laughs> when you're wearing this ring, you'll slowly heal over time, sort of. Uh, regenerate one to zero HP per adventure. That's kind of nice. Can I? Damn. Okay. Wait. Can I? Skeleton bone. It's one-handed, and then this is one-handed. No. Okay. I couldn't remember if you can dual wield in this game or not. Pound somewhere in the haunted pantry back alley. Bilkum, Dano. Whoa. Oh, but they beat me up, though. Get him. Yeah. Pale of pretentious paint. Good. That's Roof Casino. Near the Haunted Pantry. Man, I'm really running out of adventures. I've been having a good time, though. Um, But, you know, naturally, this is going to be the last episode to record for a little while, so. Keep my whistle wetted for it, you know. Get a little rest in. Do do. Nice, nice. Um, I forgot where he actually told me to go, and I can't remember who was there. Near the haunted pantry. 
Oh, the haunted pantry in here. You're fighting a flame broiled meat blob. You're ambushed by a giant flame broiled meat blob. It bobs up and down menacingly, dripping with meaty goodness and radiating waves of intense heat. Get the jump on it. You get it. Oh, all right. So um, I'm only just dipping my toe in here, but Spooky Raven Manor is a whole side quest. That's why we got the the lady being like, hey. Hooray. Now I can once again create paintings of such stunning beauty as such rich symbolism that maybe a few people in this horrible, oppressive world can begin to understand my pain. The artist pours the pail of paint into a huge barrel and then says, hey, do you want this empty pail? I don't really have a room for it, so I guess you can have it. But I got a new tattoo. Allow me to paint your portrait. Ah, oh, but your clothing's so bland. Please give me something to work with. All right, so that's all done. And now we're just... Um, cool. Next episode, I will do these some more. I, uh, I am really putting off the main quest. I'll finish out here, though. I got Knob Goblin Tongs. The ghost of Dr. Hobo Jones. On the way to Cobb's Knob, you feel a cold wind and hear the faint strains of an orchestra playing what sounds like a John Williams composition. All of a sudden, a frightful apparition appears, because that's what apparitions do, and recites the following strange poem. Ere winter froze my hobo bones, I was known as Dr. Jones. My scalpel is a gift from above. Go forth and fight, no time for love. Dr. Hobo's map. Eh, they're alright. It makes your spell damage go up, but that's not really what I need. Oh, all right, cool. Had just enough left. Can I get another one? Yeah, I would have thought so. Decent food. Maybe I can eat, like, crappy food. Huh? Huh? Yeah, okay. I thought so. Um. All right, and then I've got just enough drunkenness to get by. You drink the fine wine. Would you like some sort of exotic cheese to go with it? Snob. Yeah, I actually need these. I should have gotten... I should have ate these, actually. You rub the You rub the herbs. Do they do anything else? No, okay. Just that. Well, I'm glad no, I wasted it. And hey, again, a sarcasm. All right. So, next... We will go to... Yeah, we'll go back to Cobb's Knob. Knob Goblin Pants. Cottage Cheese. I'm just doing the grinding thing. Um, I've only got a few adventures left, so I don't feel so bad. I don't know why, but I really do like the, like, assistant, assistant. That's what he is. I just, I think about it sometimes. Firecrackers, though. Because um, normally in... The Morrowind LP. <laughs> As you near Cobb's Knob, you smell something familiar. Following your nose, you reach a clearing in which several knob goblins are having a barbecue. You hide in some shrubberies, plotting your next move. I'll kiss the chef. You pucker up and approach the young the knob goblin chef, but he sees you coming, producing a bottle of magical lighter fluid and scorching onto the grill. Blue frames, but blue flames billow from the grill, scorching you. I'll go again. Barbecue man, die. Death to all barbecues. Well, never nearly out. All right. Fighting a sleeping knob goblin guard. And bam. We got a Viking helmet. Cool. You're out of adventures. Yeah. So that's one of the things. Because um, you only get adventures every day. I don't know if you guys can see that. Adventures are essentially turns you have to use to get actions. 40 adventures a day after it performs daily maintenance. Number can be increased by items and campsite furnishings. You gain turns by consuming food and beverages. Adventures are capped during 200 during each night's maintenance. If you don't want to waste adventures, end each day with less than 160 left over, so that you won't be over 200 when the system gives you your daily 40. Uh, I didn't do that last time, and so I've kind of screwed myself a little bit. I completely forgot to go do it. Uh, you've been Viking again, haven't you? I can tell by your helmet. It gives me one muscle. Ooh, that's not bad. I might put that on. Yeah. Damn absorption plus 10. Oh, that's even better. And then... Knob Goblin Pants. 
These pants are crafted by knob goblin seamstresses. Ooh, nice. That's exactly what I needed. More muscles. So, yeah, one of the things is that in the Morrowind LP, I'm doing a lot of stuff where I'm... I'm doing a lot of stuff where, like, I'm just telling stories or just talking about stuff. Oh, whoa. Dusky offered I have grave news. Your nemesis stole an incredibly mystical artifact guarded by our guild for generations. You must recover it before he discovers how to use it, or great catastrophe will ensue. Wait, what? Since when do I have a nemesis? Oh, we took a vote and you weren't here, so he's your nemesis. You should come to meetings more often. Anyway, this isn't time for such argument. Your nemesis is rumored to lay within the big mountains, but I fear you have not the required metal to defeat him. You must recover and master the legendary epic weapon of the seal cover before you have any hope of victory. It's a long and arduous task. Are you prepared? No. Too bad. Now, hearken to my words. Long ago, the legendary epic weapon was split into two pieces to reduce its power should it fall into unworthy hands. And the first piece is an epic weapon in its own right. It was sealed within the tomb of the unknown seal clubber, but has a fraction of the form power that the second component. And where is that, you asked? It fell into unworthy hands. But first things must come first. The tomb is within the misspelled cemetery, located in the nearby plains. Travel there and challenge the traditional test of the seal clubber. Return with the epic weapon. And what happens if I fail the tests? You receive a stern glare. Failure is not an option. Now hurry, and may the gods help us all. Uh, I'm just going to get all these. Why not? So, spend all the cash. You must be the new guild member. I'm Olaf, janitor of the Brotherhood. Mighty warrior against dirt. He narrows his eyes. I hope you remember to wipe your feet, he asks. He adds in a menacing tone. You ask Olaf in a meat car. He gives you a guilty look. Uh, I parked it at the grassy knoll, but by Boris's hammer, when I got there, those fiendish knolls have stolen it. I'll give you the parts you need to be build a new one. Don't tell Gunter, all right? Uh, let me see if we have anything else. Okay. So, we're going to finish out this one to get firecrackers. Um, and then we will do this quest and then go to the spooky raven manor um i like this lp i'm just reading a lot of stuff in it uh so it is sometimes kind of tiring to actually read which isn't you know bad it's just that in a lot of in a lot of times like in the morrowind lp i have a lot of dead air so i have time to just like talk about the mythology of morrowind and granted this game is a lot more simple and that isn't you know a bad thing that this game is simplistic i have a lot of fun with it but I don't know. I like reading it, though. I like playing this game. It's a fun game. But anyway, uh, that's Game of Loathing. I'll be back next time. Uh, see you guys then. Thank you.